Alrighty, everyone. Welcome to an Arena Cube Draft, where we're playing Best of One Arena Cube Draft, and uh, I'm not sure what to take here. It will not be Phyrexian Obliterator. I actually don't think Emergent Sequence is great. Just You just get your thing killed. Ephemerate's a very powerful card. I kind of don't mind that. Tender Shoe Dried is pretty good, too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Seagate Restoration is a pretty solid one. I like Sphinx's Rev. Blue White Control is pretty good. I wonder if I could take Rev and Wheel Ephemerate. Because if I pick up the Blink stuff, Ephemerate's really sweet. But I don't know that I want to first pick uh, Ephemerate here. Doo -doo. Seagate Restoration is good when you cast it on turn one. That's a good point, Andrew. All right, I'll go with Sphinx's Rev. Why not? Ooh, Swords to Plowshares and Shark Typhoon. <laughs> Yeesh. All right, well, I'm going to take Swords. Swords just seems unreal. It's a one mana kill spell. Everyone has creatures in their decks. All right, well, that worked out pretty nicely. I don't think I'm going to wheel Shark Typhoon or Evolving Wilds or anything. Maybe I'll wheel Augur, but whatever. Uh, uh, Swords is just way too efficient. Hey, what up, Bats Master? My week is starting great. Look at this. I just got past Swords to Plowshares. Hey, Pavane, welcome back with the 22 month resub. I beat you round one of a of a cube, <laughs> D. So of of the cube that with with me and Gabby's cube list, I like it. Uh, what do we got here? There's watery grave. I don't really want to be three colors. There's a triumph that's two off colors, so that's not great. There is cultivate. I think that's one of the best cards in the cube. There's also cast out and hieroglyphic illumination. There's also birth of Miletus, which I found to be pretty good, because getting an O4 wall and two life. I think that's going to be better than either of the four drops. Hey, what up, RM Coop? To your resub, welcome back. Uh, cultivate or birth. Oh, I'll just take the birth of Miletus. I've got two very good blue white control cards so far. Oh, Magma Opus? That's going to be hard to pass up a Magma Opus. I mean, I, I think Thassa's Intervention is decent. Ah, Fatal Passage is really good. An untapped dual land. Like, when I've done previous arena cubes, the. Uh, the lands were a big part of it. There's just not that many cycles of lands. It, there, there's more now with the pathways and stuff, but I'm just going to take Fabled Passage. I, I want to be able to cast my spells. Oh, Angel of Sanctions is great, but I'm, I'm going to take Memory Lapse. Like, we're getting more as more sets get printed. Mystical Archives are a big part of it. I, I feel a ton of them went in to where now you should be taking your really good two mana cards and one mana cards over powerful five mana cards, which is mo how most cubes operate. The older arena cubes didn't because there weren't that many good cheap spells and the like, good expensive spells were good. But here I'm just gonna take memory lapse. I don't think that's actually very close. Hey, what up, Janice? Welcome back to 46 months. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, yeah, David, I definitely agree. I'm gonna have VIP you, by the way. Uh, that, uh, that the that the cube is is definitely feeling like more of a cube these days. Here there's chart of course. That's not great because I'm never going to attack. It's just two mana draw two discard one, which is still fine. I could take Electrolyze. I have a Fabled Passage. I'm kind of in for just taking Electrolyze. Plus look at this thing. This looks so cool. Mm, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't think the Cutthroat's that good, Lubars. It's just, just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and take Supreme Will. I like this one. Get to keep mana up, counter something, or, or impulse. And then Conclave Tribunal. I'm not going to really convoke it, so it's just kind of an expensive Oblivion Ring. Uh, Omen of the Sea, Terramorphic Expanse. Those are both really good. Ooh, Primal Command's cool, too. I'm not going to take it, though. I'm not going to take a green-white land. Ondo Inversion is just ite. Uh, if you don't have any combos, I think Terramorphic Expanse when I have Electrolyze already is probably better than Omen of the Sea. So we'll, we'll do that. Ooh, Ephemerate did wheel. This is a red-green land. That's not great. And a black-white Dean. Hey, thanks a lot, RDW. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. And yeah, we're excited. Uh, I could also take Kabir Takedown. I don't have any creatures. So I guess I should just take Ephemerate here and see see if we end up going that direction. Oh, there's an Evolving Wilds. Ephemerate is nice with Augur Bolas. And I have all spells so far. Well, I guess Birth doesn't count. But yeah, let's go with Augur. Let's go with Augur. Also, I like that Augur lets you get on the board. Ooh, Hieroglyphic Illumination and Cast Out and Ketria Triumph Wield. Wow, this is tough because these are nice. Or our Illumination's nice because Augur picks it up. They're both decent value-ish cards. But a blue-red land when I have a blue-red spell. No, let's just take Hieroglyphic Illumination. Let's just do it that way. And Thassa's Intervention Wield. I do like that card. 
I don't mind Prism either, but I think Intervention is generally going to be better. Oh. All right, Brideboard Cutthroat Wield. I probably would play it in this deck. Terramander. Uh, Terramander's not 0%, though I'm probably not going to play it. Okay, what do we got here? Disallow's fine. Doomscar's good. Karn's just okay. Teferi, I think, is just okay. Given where I'm at, I kind of think it's Doomscar here. Because you can foretell it and then cast it with like a counter up later. And then Disallow is fine, but I have Memory Lapse and Supreme Will and Thassa's Intervention already. So I already have a lot of three mana-ish counter stuff. Plus this cube, I think as it gets better and better, people start putting more on the board. So I don't know. I'm going to go with Doomscar. I'm not 100% sure that's the right one, but I, that's what I'm going to go with. Here we could take Will, but that's just a kind of mediocre five drop. Archmage Emeritus is like a bit... Expensive to just tap out for. Lorehold Command seems like it actually could be really good. If I'm splashing red for Electrolyze, I mean, getting an instant speed 3-2 plus a Lightning Helix seems like exactly what this deck wants. I'll wheel probably one of the castles, and even if I don't, that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, let's take Lorehold Command here. Rogren Triumph's like unpassable. I would take Triumph over basically everything. Hey, hey, hey Mana World, 67 months. Welcome back. Uh, do I find that the aggressive decks are a little too powerful in the Arena Cube, or is it more balanced than I'm giving it credit for? I'm going to have to play this and find out. I don't I don't know yet. Ooh, I do love a Mizzix Mastery, but Triple Red's going to be hard, because I'm really looking at it as the expensive part, especially since Magma Opus is already gone. Though the person who took Opus should probably take Mastery. And also, flashing back a bunch of these at the same time isn't that good. I think I'm just going to take Steam Vents here. I just picked up another red card, which makes me a lot more inclined to want to make sure my fixing is good. Okay, there's a Sacred Foundry, but at this point I'm feeling pretty good about my fixing. I have four red sources at very low cost to myself. Outrend is okay. I'm kind of looking at this Elite Spellbinder. Spellbinder. Paulo is a very efficient card. Plus, this gives me a... I can get this Terramander out of here. This gives me a second good Ephemerate target. Hey, hey, Inextrada, welcome back. That is a lot of Steam Vents and Cubes over the last 17 months. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take Spellbinder. Maybe Wheel Illyrios, because that's also a card I don't mind using Ephemerate on. Oh, wow. Brainstorm with two fetches? Oof. That or Glacial Fortress. Oh, Rogrin Triumph. Oh, man. This is all the cards I want at once. This is tough. I said Rogrin Triumph was unpassable, but Glacial Fortress is pretty tempting. Because I already have that. But then again, if I take the Triumph, I can play more red cards. Oh, man, there's Disdainful Strike, too. I like... So here's the here's the good news. Our deck seems wide open. There's a lot of good fixing and a lot of good cards for us. The bad news is all those cards are in the same pack, and I really wanted all of them. <laughs> I did say I couldn't pass Triumph, but I, that's because I think the Triumph is really good. It's, it, unlike Terramorphic, it taps for all three at the same time. And you can even cycle it later. It's just so good. Brainstorm would be really good here, too. Oh, Hengegate Pathway is really nice. Expel from Morazka. That's not bad. Prismari Command's fine, but yeah, I'm going to take Hengegate Pathway. I think this is pretty good. Hey, what's up, Tentacle Monster? The 10-month resub. Welcome back. Yeah, all right, Hengegate Pathway is a good untapped blue-white land. You know, obviously not at the same time. Oh, I love Jace Wielder of Mysteries. Yeah, all right. I don't mind a Maze Mind Tome or a Saloon Division, but Jace Wielder of Mysteries is like one of the best win conditions for these kinds of decks because you just do nothing and then you eventually just win with Jace. It's great. Probably in for a Magma Quake here. It's possible I end up with a mana base that can support it. It can be really good. Spider Spawning, that is funny. <laughs> I don't think Heroic Reinforcements or Banalish Marshals where I want to be. Cultivator's Caravan seems a little weak. I don't think Escape to the Wilds is great. I don't really like any of these cards. I guess I'm not even going to... There's no way I'm going to play the Temple. I already have three tap lands. Mm, guess I'll take God's Willing. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see myself playing any of those cards. Archmage... Oh, well, actually picking up the God's Willing to go for Archmage. Archmage with Ephemerate and God's Willing. Two one-mana ways to protect it and draw a card. All right, I, I'm willing to maybe try that. Because I also have Swords as a one-drop too. Okay, Mizzix Mastery Wheel. I'm not playing any of these cards. I'll take it just in case. You never know. Oh, Sacred Foundry? Yeah, yeah. All right. That's great. I mean, maybe I'll end up just straight Jeskai. Who knows? 
Yeah, I really like the decking win condition cards. Like, and Jace is much stronger than Thassa's Oracle because it's actually a great card. If you can just play a Jace, it's going to be really good for you. Um, oh, wow. So Glacial Fortress wield over Disdainful Stroke? Yeah, Glacial Fortress is... Mana is just too good. All right, I'll take Prismari Command. I'm getting to the point where I might actually play all of the colors here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. So 17 playables. Yeah, this is, we're, we're doing more than fine here. Okay, what do we got? Um, yeah, the blue land, land, land wheeling is pretty nice. Glass pole Mimic, I don't have that many creatures. Same deal with God Pharaoh's Gift. I could just take Emeria's Call. I mean, Emeria's Call's fine. It's not like absurd or anything. There's also Treasure Map. Treasure map is good if you have like cheap cards like this deck does. I mean, obviously swords is the, the headliner, but I have swords, memory lapse, electrolyze, prismari command. Mm. I don't know. This is, this is tough. I think I'm just going to take the treasure map over uh, Maria's call, but I'm not, I'm not convinced that's right. Oh, Seagate Stormcaller is obscene with swords. Not really a combo with ephemerate because it's going to hard to have that many things. And what else is it good with? That's it. It's just those two. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll probably just end up taking a Temple of Enlightenment here. I know the blue-white dual wield the other time, but I think Temple is still better than uh, Steam Ants. I, I don't. I don't want to take Rune Crab. Oh, Time Warp and Elish Norn. Time Warp is interesting with Jace, Archmage Emeritus. Those are like the two main ones. But also, I do have this Mizzix Mastery, and. If I end up picking up some more good spells, I could actually get that in because my mana base is looking like it can actually kick the Mizzix Mastery. So that's that's something I'm, I'm interested in considering here. Hey, what's up, Cryptic? It's 23 months. Wheel come back. Ojitai's Command is actually pretty good. I'm not going to take it here because I think it'll wheel. Basically, I want to take Neutralize, Multiple Choice, or Behold the Multiverse. I'm thinking Multiple Choice. The reason is... A 5-mana 4-4 four, four that bounces one of their creatures seems pretty good. There's also Boon of the Wishgiver, but I think that it's like uh, not 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 as good as the other options. Multiple choice doesn't work with uh, <laughs> with uh, Mizzix Master, unfortunately. But yeah, let's just go with multiple choice still. I think that's the strongest one. Oh, wow. It's going to be hard to pass up Brazen Bar. Brazen Bar is just such a good card. And... Yeah, a lot of good cards here, but Brazen, Brazy B is great. Saw it coming. Okay, we got a counterspell. Then that's actually a pretty good one, too. Tezzeret Artifice Master. It's also Glorious Protector. I don't think this Ephemerate's making it, by the way. I'm, I'm not really seeing, seeing it. I think Nimble Obstructionist could be good. This makes the Thopter worth flying or draws a card. So the one reason to think of Tezzeret would be... It's pretty good with the time warp. Yeah, let's let's try Tezzeret maybe. I don't know because I, I'm I'm gonna play the 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 auger. I think auger is gonna be good. But let's see. This is thirty cards, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands. Yeah. Oh wow. Folio is a is a is a potential win condition, but it seems like it's tough. Uh, PTO, you type in exclamation point cube list. You can take a look. Uh, Bay of Wishes is interesting because I'm going to end up with playables on the sideboard. I think I'm just going to... Oh, this is Best of One. Yeah, I'll take Bay of Wishes. I think Bay of Wishes is pretty good in Best of One. Okay, cool. The Mary's Call did Wheel. Sulphur Falls Wheel. Also, I still don't think I'm a Seagate Stormcaller deck. I really only have one card that combines with it, unfortunately. My only condition is Jace, basically, but also a Mary's Call would be fine. I think the Magma Quake might get in at this point. Just because I've got a, I don't know about Prismari Command. You know, Mizzix Mastery might, might think, why did I join best of one? Uh, just to play against more different decks, more than anything else. I didn't have a strong, uh, a strong inclination. I'm not going to play any of these cards. I, I, I don't think Mecha Godzilla is a card that's just good in this kind of deck, really. I mean, I guess I'll take it. I'm not going to play the Soul Guide Lantern either. Wow, Neutralize and Behold the Multiverse both wield. Well, I'll take Behold here. I've got already got a couple three mana counters. <laughs> so did uh, Dorat, the perfect pet, huh? 
Oh, you only played against red aggro. Yeah, we'll see, Gabby. If this if this ends up being bad for the second draft, uh, we'll we'll just both play best of three or something like that. Okay, no one is on blue, so I kind of want to get this Mizzix mastery in actually. So this is forty three. What can we do? What can we do about all that? Huh. So get Archmage Emeritus out of here. So I don't think I need that. Because, like, at this point, Mizzix Mastery is nice with a Marius Call, uh, Time Warp, Lorehold Command, Doomscar. How many spells do I have? Instant 12, 17 instants and sorceries. Yeah, Augur Bolus is good enough for that. Oh, I could take Fae of Wishes out. Yeah, I can, that's probably not going to be great. And then I could take Treasure Map out. Or, because I, I do want to play... Oh, this is 18 lands with Call. I don't mind playing 18 lands, though. I guess I have a Birth of Miletus. Yeah, I could probably take a Mountain out here. So, let's see. Right now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red sources. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven white sources. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, ten blue sources. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's take out a mountain for another island here. I think that's fine. I don't need to get double red. Though I guess the one thing it means is I is I have two red fetches that only can get one. Um, mountain, which I think is fine. How many uh yeah, how many how many games will Jace win me? It'll win me a lot, I think. I do think that the Mizzix Mastery is actually going to be pretty good here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red sources, but these don't double up. But that's okay. By the time I want to play Mizzix Mastery with Overload, it's like pretty late in the game. And oh, I also have Treasure Map to make to make things for Mizzix Mastery. All right, we'll try this. I think this deck's pretty sweet. <laughs> Yeah, also a map in Prismari Command. I think that's going to be good. <laughs> nice little spin drift. Yep. Is there anything I take over Plow Pick 1 Pack 1? I haven't seen the whole cube, but it's hard to imagine. Plow is really good. All right, Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I know there's a lot of aggro in best of one traditionally, but I do have some good answers to aggro with sword splashers. Yeah, this hand's fine. Look at look. Even if I don't draw white, I can go turn two foretell behold turn three behold to look for an untapped white source here. And Prismari commands decent against small creatures. So all right. Ooh, red. Nice. I would not take Scarab God over Source to Blushers. I don't think that's close. I think Scarab God's fine. It's obviously like a powerful card, but I, I, from what I've seen in this cube, now that there's like Source to Blushers, Memory Lapse, Brainstorm, like we're, we're at a spot where you should be looking to lower your curve more even than before. Mm. No, for sure. I do remember that now, Gabby. I, I, I forgot about that. I'm just gonna play an island and pass. I can either cast Behold off of Foretell if they don't do anything, or just saw it coming whenever they play this turn. And then next turn, I can crack this for white and play Birth. I'll take a couple hits off the Bronte D. I mean, just whatever. Garrick Unleashed. Yeah, no, that's that's no good. <laughs> no problem, Texas Barbecue. Uh, I could also Elite Spellbinder here. Let's just get the birth of Miletus going because this gets me a wall next turn to block the Bronte D and then it, whatever they play this turn I can probably kill with swords to plowshares I don't need to elite spellbinder quite net quite uh, so quickly here Embercleave okay, I guess I'll take some damage that's fine uh, I don't really need the triumph I'll definitely take memory lapse 
Oh, see, look, multiple choice is going to be great here. I'm going to take eight damage here, but I don't think I'm going to... I think that's like... It's There's a pretty good chance I don't take more damage this game. <laughs> he says right, right before he loses. All right, multiple choice. Yeah, I'll keep an electrolyze. That's fine. Uh, make them bounce the Brontodon past the turn. And then, like, look at my hand. Like, I'm going to go Swords Your Thing, Time Warp, and then pa Elite Spellbinder you, and then have a Memory Lapse up. Not to mention the two blue red cards in hand. I think this is game. What's going to be great is when they play, like, a, some sort of, like, Haster and then equip Embercleave and kill me right now. <laughs> I, I would not mind. I would, you know, I would just be impressed at that point. <laughs> Embercleave? Oh, no. Anyway. Uh, hey, it's Mr. Yappy Yappo. Welcome back. The nine month police submarino. This is Balagid Recovery. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go. Attack with this this thing right now. I did I did forget one thing. I'm probably gonna pay two life for steam bins. Actually, let's just not even do that yet. Let's just keep the swords. I I don't need to use it. I'll let, let let them waste their mana on uh on equipping Ember Cleave or whatever first. So if I elite spellbinder, then I have all the interaction up. Look at this. Look at four pieces of instant speed interaction. All right, what do they got? What you got? What's in that bag? What you got in that bag? All right, sure, whatever. Beanstalk Giant and Find Finality. Um, I mean, I, whatever. I guess I'll take Beanstalk Giant. I, neither of those cards really do anything, so I think we're okay here. Hmm. Now that we've had a chance to play with Prismari Command a bit, how do I compare it to Kolagon's Command? Uh, they're different cards. Kolagon's Command is better in like a grindier deck, I think, because it has more card advantage modes. This doesn't really have a card advantage mode. Like, the most advantage you can get, I guess, is like, if they have a small creature that you can kill plus an artifact, that's card advantage, but the other two modes aren't really card advantage. Um, but it's much better for combos, putting treasures into play and cycling through your deck and getting you mana and all that stuff. So I think it's pretty good. <laughs> that would be funny, Fishco Biscuits. I'm going to Swords that now before they get the extra life. I mean, I could also have Prismari commanded. Maybe that would have been better. I don't know. I'll go they get to kill my wall. Sure. I don't even know how much... like get, That deals three damage to them effectively because they don't gain as much life. They can get it back, yeah. Hey, what's up, Alex Walk? Welcome. Uh, no reason to cycle hieroglyphic illumination, right? <laughs> They're at eight now. <laughs> Let's just cast it. <laughs> All right, good. And we drew Terramorphic, and I guess we can get on our island with this. This deck is actually not that many basics. That's how you can tell you drafted well when you have very few basics here. So they could actually Beanstalk Giant first and then play the, the Bronte D. That'd be a thing. Beanstalk Giant. Um, let's see. So if I memory lapse that, yeah, that should be good enough, right? I guess I don't know their last card. But all I have to do is hit them for four here. Gabby, my desk is very clean because I had the guy who was going to make the computer come over. Uh, I guess I actually wanted to let him, let my opponent cast the, the, the Brontodon, but whatever. I mean, this is also fine. <clears throat> I'll have you know, this is the only beverage container in the whole room. I, I did maybe truck out a garbage bag full, you know, the, the other day, but... Currently, that's that's all that's going on. I don't call it like I see it. I call it like it is. Or whatever Gabby likes to say. <laughs> okay. We didn't win with Jace. Yeah. Multiple choice delivered the death blow. Actually, I guess 
technically the uh, electrolyze was, was the finishing move uh yeah this doesn't have any white but i can go turn to treasure map and upkeep scry look for a planes and then i've got two wraths in hand which is pretty good yeah Tuggy, yeah I, did, I didn't go to walk with my brother but uh matt and ass and gabby came along today that was good yeah i've gotten a lot of people hooked on spindrift because it's really good it just kind of sells itself once you try it the Matt Nass even, yes. Uh, I mean, Brazen Bar are good in the blue matchups. Island makes the, the Double Wrath Hand a little less powerful, of course. But I don't mind a nice little control game. Ooh, Brawl, huh? We got Prismari Command. No, I'll pass on that. Okay. Play a land and upkeep scry again. I guess I'll suspend a Doomscar. No real reason not to. I don't think I'm going to need to use Brazen Barber this turn here. Exactly. There's really a sponsor me if I'll do it without being paid. Ooh, a little Jeskai Mirror. Agar the Freezing Flame. Okay, well, the Wrath's looking a little better. They have two creatures in play now. I mean, at some point I have to find a land. But if I find one white source, all right, even a slow one. Um... I get the second with birth. Plus, uh, this also means I can flip the treasure map. Uh, let's bottom terramorphic. I actually don't think I need that. Pass here. How do I feel about mill in the cube? I think it's a cool alternate win condition. I don't mind it. I guess I have to worry a little about counter spells here. We'll see what they play. They don't do anything. There's a chance I want to just Brazen Bar or Agar. Oh, Chandra. I don't like that. Oh, yeah. Cardboard Live should be on. That was my bad. My B. Chandra is unfortunate. This does deal damage to Planeswalkers, so that much is nice. All right. Cardboard Live should be on. All right. They're going to nug me. The Supreme Well, sure. Um... Guess, well, let's see. Hold on. I can Magma Quake. If I draw a land, I could use up all the treasures in Magma Quake for a bunch. I think I'm just going to bounce the Chandra here. Make them waste their mana. Um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I guess I'm going to play Birth of Miletus here. Does this without flying? Yeah, without flying. All right. Play my land and pass. And then maybe I can set up a, a thing. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Get over here. All right. So now what is my plan? I guess if they attack, I'm going to take four. And then if they play Chandra, I get to play Brazen Borrower, attack Chandra, and then Magma Quake a bunch. I think that's decent here. I'll take it. Okay. Take some damages. Okay, I'm actually switching here. Oh, they're not playing anything. Okay, let's activate this. I'll put this on the bottom. And boom, make some treasures. Do they have a play now? I don't know. Do, do, do. I'm at nine. Okay. I'll go ahead and get my... Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, I'll get a 4 wall. So now the question is... Do I do anything? I could play Jace. Hey, what's up, old school crusader? 2137, welcome back. I could play Jace. I could... 
and I'd have memory lapse up. Yeah, cause I like so one reason I like playing Jace is it does pressure them a little bit more. Okay. So I'm gonna mill them. I think it's generally better to mill them. The only time like you can mill yourself with Jace. Is that an approach? <laughs> nice. Um but the the issue is if they kill Jace and then then you end up with not very many cards in your deck. So I only like milling myself if I'm pretty confident I can protect Jace and all that. Doomscar is a wrath that's gonna that I can play now for one white white sorcery speed kill all creatures. I'm setting up my untapped account. <laughs> What do we got? Okay, lore hold command, dealing three and making a three two. Uh, I don't really like that. Let's memory lapse that. And make them decide how they want to use this. And now, this did use up a lot of my mana. There's a chance yeah, I guess if I have to Magma Quake for two, if they do like the haste thing, that's kind of bad. But yeah, I'm not sure. What do you got? So they they have Chandra and they have Lorehold Command. This is getting a little dicey because if they Lorehold Command and make all their creatures indestructible, yeah, that's actually not great for me because I guess I can't Magma Quake and kill their thing. So, all right, I'm going to take some damage or they're going to kill Jace. They're just going to hit me. All right. So let's block, I guess we blocked this one. We take six going to three, sure. This is one spot where memory lapse is definitely weaker. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could have sacked a treasure to draw a card. Maybe that would have been good. Okay, I wouldn't have done much. All right, uh, gain two, that's nice. All right, nah, this is actually pretty good still, because I'm just going to get to Doomscar them here. Oh, I milled a Magma Opus. All right, let's go Doomscar. Play Terramorphic Expanse. And then now, if they play Chandra, they can hit me for two. But, all right, let's get a blue. But I can still play Brazen Borrower plus I'll use Electrolyze to kill their thing. I don't think my opponent's being a Stream Sniper. I, does not does not appear to me that that's the case. That's fine. Okay, I don't think I want to. I think I'd rather just play Brazy B here. And I don't. I don't want to crack treasures. Oh, that's not bad either. Mill two. Draw. Oh, okay, that's really good because I, I just wanted to kind of see what they've got going. I guess the fact that they have a Gilded Lotus in play makes it a little more difficult to. <laughs> To elite spellbinder them maybe they have a mizzix mastery in hand that would make sense as to why they played the gilded lotus here and that could be interesting Is my prismari command i think i scryed it to the bottom but i've shuffled since then so Okay, their hand is Banefire, Saw It Coming, Disallow, Chandra. Oh, so I'm dead? Well, no. Right, I'm at five. I guess I'm going to take... I guess I can't really take either of the spells. I guess I should just take the Banefire and make it cost more. I'm not just dead, though, because I've got uh, Swords to Plowshares and Sphinx's Rug, actually. I'm just going to play this tapped. I, I just want more lands in play at this point. Mm 
Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. There we go. All right. So I'm actually going to be using. We actually just. Oh, they they're main firing me for six. So now, I guess like I guess it's probably better just to rev. To, so I can rev to gain four. Yeah. All right, now now we're set. Actually, might be able to kill them with damage here. I'm pretty close. This is eight to ultimate. Okay, so I'm I'm setting up the untapped GG com arena. Uh, boom! It should let me know if it should be working. Untapped is awesome. We're, Part of this that we're excited about this is this is going to get out my ratings back on the Untapped GG uh, Arena Draft app, which we CFP Pro made it a little more complicated, but we're figuring that out. Okay, so now if I put a lore hold command, I can attack for twelve, and that costs five mana. And then, wow, I'm like one 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 mana or one damage short. That's fine. Let's not let's not worry about it. Let's just do this. Make a make a treasure token and blow up their thing. Play a glacial fortress. And I guess we'll even suspend this. And then pass with a counter spell and a bunch of other stuff up. I guess they have six. I mean, I guess they have double counter. So if they drew like a deal three and did, okay. And, and was able to like back it up with counters. That would be pretty tough. Saw it coming. I mean, they're, they're going to counter back, but I just want to, I just want to tap them out here. Uh, so yeah, I basically, I, I I basically we'll we'll see what I, I haven't announced it. We haven't announced exactly how it's gonna work with Untap, but we're going to make it so that uh that ho that you know you, you get to see the ratings and whatnot. And it will be the the the, the idea is that it will be free. Alright, so they get to do this. Chandra. I'm at three, so they can't quite kill me with Chandra. Not that they really could, because I had swords and lore hold command. All right, there we go. We had to multitask a little. Yeah, this was actually kind of a complicated game, but we're, we we got this. Uh, electrolyze. Draw. I mean, I could. I'm kind of close to just jacing them, but now I get to go. Create a red weight. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's get in round three here. Chandra, Chandra, or Banefire almost got us here, but didn't quite get there. Yeah, I think that was a that was a pretty pretty cool game. Jace is O two. Yep, yep. Sorry, Jace. I mean, Jace was good that game. Drew me a bunch of cards, but you know, I didn't quite get there. Mm -hmm. It, I mean, I think my opponent was also right, especially with Bane Fire in hand, to like attack me instead of Jace. But there was also a version of that game where Jace absorbed a bunch of damage, and I was okay with that too. You know, I I kind of feel like Mizzix Mastery is good in this cube. I don't know. There's some times where if I had drawn it, it would have been pretty good. And my opponent did, had a stacked graveyard eventually too for it. Uh, yeah, this hand. On the draw, this hand's going to do poorly against aggro. But I think 
I'm going to cycle hieroglyphic illumination here. I definitely can't afford to wait. But I mean, the, at least Spellbinder is a good does a good job of catching up. All right. Well, they didn't start aggressively, but I still think I should cycle this here. Oh, I don't think mastery is too much. I just think it's very strong. All right. Now this is nice. Now I've got a bunch of good interactive plays here. Uh, can I still make it to Worlds? I can if I do well in the last league weekend. I'll have to really pick up the pace, though. Has Arena influenced future cards? on It should. I don't know how much it does, but they definitely should keep Arena in mind if that's the way a lot of people interface with the cards, you know? They suspended a card. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to Elite Spellbinder them anyway. Um, no lands. All removal. Oh, these 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 matchups are really easy for decks like Jess Guy. Uh, I don't care about any of these. I guess God Eternal Bantu is like maybe the most annoying to play against. Sure. It kind of doesn't even matter because they they don't want to play this until they can sack stuff anyway. But I kind of want not have to worry about this one for for a bit. Yeah, Poison the Cup could be a good one. I would I wouldn't have cycled Hieroglyphic Illumination if I knew this is what I was up against. Could be Doom's Guard. That's another one. If I don't get there in the last weekend, I do have a chance in the gauntlet, yeah. Be pretty disappointing because I was on the leaderboard for so long during the... Uh, I didn't have any reason not to crack earlier rather than later during the season to, to, to end up not making top four. But, you know, obviously could very easily happen. Oh, it was a glorious protector. That's pretty good, actually. I mean... Uh, actually, that's fine. They have so many ways to kill my elite Spellbinder that, like, I think I'd rather trade Spellbinder plus Prismari Command here. And I think I'm going to loot because I've got a Doomscar in hand I don't really want. Let's go. Draws two cards, deal two damage. Do, do. Mm, Doomscar and... Island, I guess, can go. And crack this. I'm just gonna get a mountain here. Uh, I don't know what my world's card would look like. I don't have an idea off the top of my head. With Brazen Bar, even if they played like a threat this turn, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, and unless their last card's a threat, it's gonna be pretty tough for them. I don't know uh, about how untapped an MTG Goldfish. Interface, uh, Vic Vexic. Yeah, so yeah, the Untapped app looks like it's working for me. Great, I I, I think Untapped's great. So I'm very happy that we've we're working with them now. I'm gonna Untapped GG to talk, check them out here. So we've got Memory Lapse, Liliana, Waker of the Dead. Interesting. Um, plus one, each player discards a card. Let's see, let's see. This is kind of awkward. Uh, I guess getting the mountain is kind of messing me up with this Jace. I didn't really factor Jace in. How much do I care about the Jace dying? I could Brazen Borrower, discard a Plains. Yeah, that's actually fine. Uh, see if Pete does buy Pokemon cards. Uh, you can... They've got a they should got a buy list up for that. Alright, let's go intervention for th three, actually. Let's no. Let's go ahead. Okay, I'm just gonna discard a planes here. Okay, so now the question is: do I just play the brazen borrower and attack Lily? Or do I draw draw three? Or do I bounce and then play brazen borrower? I kind of want to just bounce Lily and then play Brazen Borrower. Yeah. And then draw. Oh, wow. We drew, drawing an island was just obscene there. Okay, so now we can play Jace with Memory Lapse up. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I guess that's a way to, to do it. And then now... <laughs> now we just kind of have it locked up because they're going to tap out for something. I'm going to lapse it, and then I'm going to have another counter. They have to have a, a, a two-mana card for this to work out. If I had to cho choose between IRL Magic or Online, I would choose... I guess I would choose Online because it's so much easier for me to play, but I really miss Live Magic. I'm looking forward to this weekend. We're cubing in person. 
we've ordered all the cards, channelfireball.com, of course, uh, for the cube using uh, using the affiliate code Gabby. If you go to channelfireball.com and you buy anything or sign up for Pro, use the code Gabby. Help support Gabby's stream. All the awesome stuff Gabby does. But uh, we're going to be doing some IRL cubing. It's going to be great. Hey, what up, Sliver and Onion? 59 months. Welcome back. You're not brazenly borrowing entertainment. You're hanging out. I like it. I like it. Gabby doesn't like when I promote her, her affiliate code, but I do it anyway. Conclave Tribunal. And draw Tezrino. <laughs> uh, let's hit. So, do I want to mill their Conclave Tribunal? Or do I want to? Yeah, I mean, sure, I'll mill it. I, I could let them draw it again, but I think milling it is okay. And I think I'm going to electrolyze them. Try to draw a land here. Oh, I didn't draw a land. All right, that's fine. Pass. I was hoping to be able to intervention for more. I don't care too much if they kill Jace at this point. Drawing a land would have been pretty good. Maybe I should have just played Tezzeret, actually. Oh, wow. They're going to pass and then upkeep to it? Okay, that's actually that's a good play. That is definitely a good play. So they have Mythos, but it can't kill my Jace. So they just have Murderous Rider right now. So I guess I'll do this. Mm -hmm. Make them pay four. Gabby, Gabby took the under because she doesn't believe in me. Uh, and then I guess now I just mill them, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, I guess that my opponent's username does make them chat's mortal enemy. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's let's suspend this and then play temple. Lorehold command, yeah, sure. Here's the thing that's messed up about Brazen Bar. They're already at nine. Brazen Bar does so much damage. <laughs> what I voted for? Oh yeah, I didn't. We haven't talked about that. The, our D and D campaign. They actually did the the big heist they've been working up to, where they broke into the guild hall of the Red Wizards, uh, broke into the 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 chambers of the uh, of the chief wizard, the high wizard, stole a key to the treasury, went in to the treasury, fought a demi lich and some crystalline golems, and went away with all the loot. Would I have a uh, bet against you succeeding? Uh, yeah, I guess I would have probably bet against you guys succeeding. No, I think you would. Have, I, I think you were more likely to succeed than fail, but it, it was pretty close. Mm, let's make a Thopter and pass. We've got a Counterspell up. Next turn, we have Lethal with the command here. Demoliches are definitely no joke. It was a high level adventure. They're all thir they're all twelfth going to thirteenth. Basically, the most dangerous part I think wasn't the Demolich part, though that part was dangerous too. I actually very came very close to killing Raptor and Squirrel both. Um, the most dangerous part is when they were in the main guild hall because the, the, the in order to cause a distraction, they, they started a fight between two factions of wizards and, uh, and they, you know, they were able to sneak in that way and all that. But if they play that part wrong, they'll end up in a spot where, uh, they get noticed by all the wizards out there and then they're in trouble. Like, I think that they could, the combined might of all the wizards was definitely be be better than the Lich or whatever, you know? Also, we were just counting whatever they played. I wasn't really too worried about which one they played. Need a way to re-spark the excitement in your TCG collection? Box breaks are the way to get your hands on cards from the games you love. Learn more today at cfbboxbreaks.com or check out CFB Box Breaks on YouTube. The servants did notice, but uh, Squirrel did a good job of infiltrating them. He bribed; they had bribed the the the, the sous chef to hire Squirrel's character Yender as a, a as a dog's buddy, as like a a server slash whatever. And um, he was able to to infiltrate them. But he noticed they they, they noticed something was amiss. But their servants they're just not going to get involved in wizard business. Yeah, this the brazen borrower has done too much damage, David, for the Jace to really pick up some wins. Doo -doo -doo. This is uh, currently a homebrew. There is a, 
there, there are definitely, there's aspects of it that I've used you know, resources for, but this, the whole heist thing was completely something I made. The token had haste Sicilian because uh, I chose the mode of plus one plus oh in haste and indestructible. It wouldn't naturally have it. What cool stuff they loot. They got a cubic gate, which is like a Rubik's cube that can take you to different uh, planes. They got a ring of wishes. Well, that, that, they're not going to keep that one. They had a source on the inside who wanted the ring of wishes. Uh, they got <laughs> a book of vile darkness. They, they got a tome of clear understanding. Uh, they got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Let's go treasure map. Oh, I should have cycled Illumination on turn one, probably, though it's going to work out better this way. I'm not going to scry up keep because I'm going to play Elite Spellbinder here. Mm -hmm. Playing as Jund. Jundarino. Oh, well, taking Cultivate is going to really throw a damper on your plans, isn't it, Jund person? Doo -doo -doo -doo. When the abandoned base does look good, this is what happens when you take lands really aggressively. I do not fear the Reaper. Uh, let's just hit and then pass, cast Illumination into multiple choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the last campaign or the campaign that, the live campaign that I actually want to get started again, Gabby, would be great. Uh, but we're running. Gabby has an abjuration wizard who literally chose to sacrifice someone on an evil altar. About as evil as you can get. So she got granted a demonic boon, a bunch of powers, a patron, all that. She The whole campaign, she had been trending towards evil, basically. So now in this campaign, a completely different character, uh, they found a book of vile darkness, and it's TBD what Gabby's going to do with that. <laughs> it's very powerful. <laughs> I'll give you all the full details next time. <laughs> uh, let's go multiple choice X equals four. Bounces the Reaper. I don't really care if they kill it with the mythos here. Hey, what's up, Matt? Yeah. We are still playing on TTS. Oh, uh, yeah, Electrolyze seems fine if they have a Midnight Reaper. I'll choose them. No, no way, Squirrel. I don't think that would happen. All right. This, this kind of sucks. I haven't been able to use Treasure Map this game because I've curved out so well. So it's actually pretty brutal. Oh, I'm glad I picked up the Electrolyze. I'm sure this is killing Elite Spellbinder here. Okay, I guess I could use a three mana counter, but this is fine. Yoink. Draw and Sulfur Falls, and I guess just go see what they do. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kelsla, welcome back with 14 months. What is up? Really just own this cultivate hard, huh? <laughs> uh, Minute Reaper, sure. <laughs> How's coverage going to go for our Arrow Cube stream? <laughs> it's not going to be covered. <laughs> it won't be a stream. Do I tend to pick harder monsters and play easier or easier monsters and play harder? Eh, kind of a mix. Sometimes I'll take a monster and then I'll kind of upgrade in some ways if I think it's cool. It's mostly about what I think is cool and what I think will lead to good uh, good gameplay. Uh, let's go Prismari Command. Deal two to that, I think. Actually, it actually kind of messes up their curve. Let's, let's bounce the Midnight Reaper and then use Treasure Map here. Mm -hmm. Am I going infinite in games or gold? Yes, is the answer. Oh, I was going to cast Tez, but it feels like putting two angels into play is probably just better, isn't it? Oh, really? That's awesome, David. That is really cool. Okay, they hit some stuff. It's going to be hard here to, to get in there. Okay, so they get to pay two, and then they're probably going to play like one of these kill spells on one of the angels, I guess. It's probably the plan. Seems hard to hard to justify not. Wow, getting getting the cultivate with the with the uh, the elite spellbinder was just obscene. Three mana, three one. They just discard a card. I mean, they're never casting this cultivate pretty much. 
Oh yeah, rabbits. I I, I really like uh, chili crisp. It's it's very good. Let me see. If this is the. I haven't tried this specific one, but I have tried similar things to this. Oh, we drew a. They didn't kill an angel. That's ambitious. I, they really wanted to get it out. Valentine out first. Mm -hmm. uh, Gabby, to be fair, the the demo that you fought yesterday was definitely not as powerful as Azarak. It's memory lapse that. I mean, I don't know. It feels like they're pretty close to dying. I guess they can bail full mastery here. They can play Thrag Tusk, but that will not keep them alive. Barely, because they'll go to 10, and then I'll attack them, and then I'll shock them here. Oh, they can't even play do that, because they, they know I have a Brazen Borrower here. I have not played any MH2 yet. A single one. Yeah, Revit, my uh, my brother uh, got 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 us hooked on this chili crisp that he gets uh, from Oakland. I remember the name right now, but I I just order from them via Instagram. Honestly, I just DM them on Instagram because it's like a real small business and and do it that way. Uh, sure, Baleful Mastery and Catch Me Try Malls looks like you're giving someone the middle finger. <laughs> Scry kind of unnecessarily. Oh, sure. I'll take Behold the Multiverse. Yeah, they they would need to kill both because the Prismari Command plus Brazen Borrower in there. Hey, what's up, Curtin? Welcome back. You Okay, you're going to need the Chili Crisp info immediately. Fine, I'll look it up. <laughs> Let me check the DMs. I, I, I basically never use Instagram. Like, like actually never, but that's the way that they wanted to be contacted. So, let me see if I'm my messaging. I don't even know where this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll have to I'll have to figure it out. Let me see. Oh, I think I know how I can figure it out. I'm going to have to do some real detective work here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where did they go? Um, it might be too. It might be too far back for me to find them. Yeah, no, I can't. Oh, it's in the fridge. All right, Gabby's got us. Uh, I'm on the draw. Yeah, I'll keep this. This end again a little slow, but a turn three Doomscar goes a long way. All right, Gabby's got Gabby's got her back. Oh, Mizzix Master, I had not gotten to do that yet. Oh, geez. Um, Hmm. Let's go. So the reason I think it's better to foretell Doomscar than play Treasure Map, I think it's not too close, is I don't need to scry upkeep. Whoa, Lightning Helix to the face? Aggressive. Uh, huh. Is that I could the Doomscar turn three. I can still play Map and Scry. I think I'm going to play Treasure Map and Scry here. I know that Mentor Doomscar is kind of a funny thing where like they get the card back, so it's not like they're really overextending. But I, I kind of want to make them waste a little more of their time first. Uh, I don't think this is... No, th that is not them. Uh, the worst. Gabby's got us. Hey, what's up, Great Fuel Jet? Oh, there's Electrolyze. There we go. Let's go. And... and I'm just going to electrolyze this now. I don't know what there has in the way of combat tricks. Okay. And I wanted to play an untapped land because I wanted to scry with the map here. 
Hey, Krevex with the two month to be sub. Welcome back. A uh, Koali Salsas. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Do I like Brazen Borrower as a card design? Yeah, I think Brazen Borrower is a good design. I, it's a little pushed, but the design I don't think is bad. I think that those those cards tend to play pretty well, so I can make. Hmm. I'm going to do this. Augur of Bolas. Sure. And then I'm going to play a land and I'm going to play Jace. And because I flipped treasure map, I can still use memory lapse here. Jace them. Next turn, I might. Uh, sure. Next turn, I might end up uh, jacing myself to set up this Mizzix Mastery, which currently is not looking too great. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Ancestral Blade, sure. They're just like a red-white aggro deck, but I just don't think they've drawn that much in the way of uh, threats. Let's go Augur. Can we get a time warp? That would be the money. <laughs> Apparently the answer is yes. I'm at 15, I'll pay two life. Time warp. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good Mizzix Mastery. <laughs> yes it is. Yeah, Salsa Maka is, is the thing. Uh, Behold the Multiverse is better because it, you can cast it for two payments of two, which is very strong. Okay, so take my time walk turn. Mill myself for more. Mm. Ooh, I hit a lore hold command. Okay. Let's cycle this. <laughs> Land. And then let's just go overloaded Mizzix Mastery. <laughs> I still have memory lapse up. <laughs> uh, what? What? Are we going to get to do it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Time warp. Electrolyze. Uh, Prismari command. Treasure token, destroy target artifact. I guess I could have done electrolyze one one. Let's go three two indestructible in haste and hieroglyphic illumination. And I'll decline on the magma quake. All right, this this was good. <laughs> Matt, I would go with the peanut version. They're both good though. I've gotten them both. I think the peanut's the spicier version. All right, I'm glad they let us have fun. There we go. Oh. Oh. I see. There we go. <laughs> no, wait, come back. <laughs> uh. This deck does have Cycle Illumination plus Mill with Prismari Command and Jason stuff to, to get the real mastery, the real mastery stuff going. Does that count as a Jace? I feel like that's not not quite a Jace. <clears throat> All right, I'm on the play. Yeah, I don't have white here. Ooh, they're an Obosh deck? That is awesome, I love it. Um, but I've got a Prismari command. Oh, there's a white source. Doo -doo -doo. So they're playing gutter bones, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Bone splitter? Ooh. Hey, GG Dreadman, yeah. Thanks for letting us play it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Is that a good answer to Gutter Bones or? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take it here. It's a lot of damage, but I can keep a three mana spell up. Okay, they're just doing that. Let's just 
Let's do this. Um, take behold. Draw. Oh, Tezret. Okay, so let's go. I'm just going to swords that now. The reason is uh, I don't want them to have like a village rights or something to get it back. Do I think the arena cube should cube include cards like Agent or Oko? Agent, I think, is fine. I don't think Oko is... I think Oko would just make the, this cube too much of a joke. Oko's, I think, good in Vintage Cube because it's just one of the top 10 cards or whatever, top 15 cards, instead of just being the best card. Or no, well, I don't want to miss a land drop. That would be the worst thing that could happen in the world. Behold. Oh, okay. All was beholden. And I guess we want a second white because we currently can't cast Doomscar here. This deck has played out so smooth. It really has. Let's go ahead and auger. Oof, oof, big oof. The Traitor of Bolas. I feel good against a black red deck. It's good to have auger. Oh, they're going to kill it. It's definitely good to have auger. Now they can maybe play Obosh of Siege Gang. Well, I guess I'm glad I have this Doomscar ready to roll. Oh, good. For a second, I thought I was going to miss a land drop. That would be disastrous. Yeah, it was like, this deck's playing out so smooth. All right, better better whiff, whiff for you instead. <laughs> okay. On the Ocarino of Time. Uh, let's pass. <laughs> let's see what they do. So what I think I'm going to do here is go shock. Uh, well, I'm going to do this response and I only want to take two. Um, just two damage to any target. And then just three damage to any target and make a three, two. All right. That worked out pretty nicely. All right, Rabbits, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I've got the tab open here. Mm. Hey, what up, Greedbot? Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying CR. I'll be sure to, to let BK know. It, depending if he's, you know, if, he, if he's been behaving recently. Uh, God, as much as I really want to make a Sphinx's Revelation, I should just make two angels. That would be better. Plus, now I can play Rev for maybe five next turn. We'll see. <laughs> okay. I maybe could have double blocked. I don't know if there's like a team or battle rage. Like that's a card. Maybe that would have been better. I don't know. Attacking seems a little loose. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't care. If these things trade, I'm like pretty happy with, with, uh, with how that goes. Let's go... Draw four. Okay, whew, almost missed a land drop. Ember Cleave is a good one. Oh. Oh, all right, all right. Let me ask you a question here. That's pretty good. They have seven cards in their graveyard, too. So, like, if. If the Hawks dies, then like they get some good value from that. Pretty good. Oh, all right, what do you got? Lorehold Command and Marius Call, Prismari Command. Don't have to play the Doomscar, Behold the Multiverse Supreme Will. Oh, and I have Time Warp in hand. Now let's start by taking a Time Warp. <laughs> all right, let's attack. I do have Triple Red also. Uh, let's go Elite Spellbinder. This is... Yeah, this is going to be so over. All right. Um, draw. Overload Mastery. New it, new it, new it, new it, new it, new it, new it. Uh, Supreme Will. Uh, Behold the Multiverse. Doomscar. Deals two damage to any target. Target player makes a treasure token. Oh, I didn't register the first click. Lorehold, wait, yeah, this is the right order. Marius Call, Time Warp, 
and I'm going to decline on the rest. So time warp happens, Emeria's Call happens. I don't want a Swords, they're just dead. They're dead by so much. All my creatures are getting haste. <laughs> <laughs> I get another turn after this. <laughs> we get to time warp. Uh, let's take saw coming, sure, whatever. Land and like. <laughs> but why didn't you swords the ox? <laughs> well, this has been close. <laughs> close games. Lorehold Command has actually worked out pretty nicely for me here. I could have also sorted the Ox. I could have done so many things. I had I was attacking them for what? 5, 10, 14, uh, 18 plus next turn another oh wait 22 plus like another million next turn so i think i think i had it under control Could have Doomscarred as a... Oh, yes, I could have also Doomscarred, actually. That is really funny. <laughs> that is really funny. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about the league weekend. This would have been a, this last weekend of the Strixhaven Champs. If I had picked up two points, I would have felt really good about my spot. Now it feels like I'm going to miss Worlds and I'm really bummed about it. I mean, I'm, I still got to play. Like, I'm not just dead, but like... I don't feel confident like that I have I had an edge going in, but no longer. Uh let's just get a planes here. Cause single blue is gonna be enough for a while. Single red, and then I have a Doomscar here. Doomscar also tends to be pretty good against these green decks. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh let's go island. Do this. I played a Salt Ultimatum. It was medium. The just got mutated deck. Crushed it, so that was clearly the deck to play. Is this a Wolf Willow Haven? Yeah, that's what it looked like. This cube has been, well, this first draft, this Jessica deck has been awesome. Hey, what up, Marky Mark? Five months. They're going to pass so they can make a, a creature token. Do I even care about that? What is it? Next turn, they can make it a construct or something? I mean, I don't know, let's, but if I do that and then lose to, there's a lot of stuff. I think I'm just going to play this and pass. And here, here's why. I'll have memory lapse up for like a Garrick or something. I don't care if they make a token here and hit me. Uh, I want to play another land. If I don't draw blue, I'm actually going to play this as blue so I can intervention to draw two. And then I can hopefully draw white and then Doomscar with a uh, counter backup. I think that's better. Okay, I'm definitely playing this on blue then. Now they can make, end of turn, they can make a 4-4. Four, four. I mean, I guess this is kind of flying a little close to the sun here because they're going to make a, oh, it's a 3-3, three, three, but number of creatures you control. Wait, why is this? A, I don't understand. Oh, it's not a construct like the Urza ones. It, it looks when you make it, I see. Okay. Draw two. I guess I just didn't want to Doomscar and have them play like a Garrick or something. Yeah, I have a Magma Quake. Oh, a Temple. Yeah, let's go Temple. I'll take, I'll take a little more damage. You know what? A little, little, little damage never hurt anyone. Uh, and then I'll suspend this and then they're going to make a 4-4 four, four, and they can attack me for like 8 or something more with the Tangled Florahedron sure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
take eight. Ether Sphere Harvester. That I don't like. Do I want to memory lapse it? Or yeah, let's memory lapse it. I don't mind them drawing that one again. <laughs> After all, why shouldn't I take a bunch more damage? Oh, time warp. Let's go Doomscar first. And we'll 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 time warp otherwise. So now they play Harvester. And I don't think I care about Harvester now. I mean, I know they can make a wolf token, but I think that's fine. Tezzeret can make 1-1 one, one flyers. That can block down the Harvester pretty easily. Palladium Mirror? Sure. Okay, let's go ahead and draw. Uh, oh, Prismori Command. <laughs> yeah, that, that one looks like it's it does the thing. All right. Um... I would like to time warp with a planeswalker in play, but that might be might be too ambitious. I'm at six. Let's oh, let's cycle this. Okay, we drew a land. All right, let's go Prismari command. Boom, boom. And pass the turn with a counter spell up yeah this deck has been just such gas land or visionary sure the i i the, the, the way i played with that doom scar i think made it much safer now they're going to make a thing and then i've got a magma quake uh the it does end up in a spot where i have a low enough life total that i can't spend too much time messing around you know but i <clears throat> like i do have to like let things like Lin or Visionary resolve just to to make sure that I can have a counter for whatever the last thing is. But I feel like I have the nope. There we go. <laughs> I have the uh, luxury to do that. Counter their God Pharaoh's gift and then lock up the game. I mean, I guess I don't technically have time warp available yet, but I'm gonna draw a card. I believe. Uh, I'm actually gonna mill myself. Oh, I milled the land. And then do an electrolyze. That's fine. Um, but that's because I think I'm going to be able to get pretty close to to decking myself pretty soon here. Behold. Oh, actually, I guess I'll just keep them both because I should be able to deck myself with Jace fairly easily here, right? Yeah, I'm at 13 cards. Yeah, I'm sure this is enough. I haven't done the math, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Yoink. Draw nine cards. Let's see. So if I draw five cards, I go to three. So I, I can't quite do it this turn. So because I can't do it this turn, I think I'd rather mill them just in case. I mean, I have a Swords to Plowshares and a Brazen Bar. I, I mean, I have, kind of have it all. Hornet Queen. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I mean that's a good card, but it's not gonna it's not gonna do the trick here. Uh, so next end of so I have seven cards left. End of turn, yeah, I can draw five. New it, new it, new it, new it. Land. I have one card left. Yoink. And there we go, capping it off with the one Jace win. I know, but mastery, but mastery. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoy drafts like this, you know, check out channelfireball.com. These drafts are brought to you by Ultimate Guard, our sponsor. And uh, pleased to announce that we're also working with untapped.gg. So if you watched live on stream using the untapped app, there we go.